Okay. Right. Is he just gonna stand here? Do you wanna... No talking. Okay, we're playing that game. Do you wanna leave? All right, I can't lie. Um, I just got really sweaty and nervous. This is gonna be so fucking easy, dude. I'm not good with big words. The big words scare me a little bit. I don't really know anything about America, it seems like. So uh, let's just start. Who is in charge of the executive branch? That would be mm, not the prime minister. <gasps> oh, that's easy, dude. The prime minister, obviously. There's three. We got the judicial, executive. Or who? I don't even know who the chief justice is. I'm. I've, I've never heard of that in my life. Come on, what is this, the fucking easiest test ever? So executive, that sounds official. Probably the president. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the president. It's gotta be the president. We'll go with the president. What do we call the first 10 commandments to the, oh, sorry, sorry. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the constitution, choose one? So it's gotta be Declaration of Independence. No, Articles of Confederation? That's the Bill of Rights, I know that one. Maybe it's the Bill of Rights, cause those are like our basic rights. It's gotta be the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states choose one? We got our own tax, or we got our own state tax. Um, we got, by state, we have our own sport teams. Like sacrificing people, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can do that, right? We got our own like little quirky thing, like Wisconsin's cheese. So that's none of the options. Well, it's definitely not printing money. Coin or print money. I don't know if that's the state. I think that's just, um, what's his name? Bill Gates. Ah. Uh... Well, Milwaukee Public Schools don't provide schooling and education. Or maybe it's providing schooling and education. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably schooling and education. Provide provide schooling, I think that makes the most sense. Probably provide school and schooling, maybe, sometimes. We don't really do that anyways, but probably that. Probably could do that, but we don't. Who is the commander in chief of the military? Attorney General, it's gotta be the Attorney General. The President, I know that one because I'm fucking awesome, so. Right, isn't our Attorney General like a trans woman or something? Is she in charge of the military? What the what are we doing? Unfortunately, that would be the president. So we're going to go with that one. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? So as we know, I'm the least racist person on the planet. I'm very detailed on this, this time. So it's, it was the Dutch. No, I'm just kidding. Should have been the Canadians, though. Wish it was the Canadians. Can't lie. I, we live right next to them, and I've never met a Canadian. I don't know if they're actually real. I'm just going to go with Africans. But it was Africans. Slash... Black. We elect a U.S. senator for how many years? It's not two. It's not four. Do they really have to take this? Shit to be citizens? What the? Fuck? So we got Tam we got the Tammy Baldwin and Eric Hubdy. Also Kamala Harris. She was a good senator. I think ten. You work a job for ten years, and then you're still in crippling debt. So I. I'll go 10. Who the f knows this? I think it's six, because 10 sounds a little aggressive. I don't think it's 10. It's gotta be six. I think it's six. I think it's six. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Oh, I know. Checks and balances. I know that one. Even though we don't do that, it's checks and balances. Checks and balances. All right, got that paper. I think we scored at least 50%, and that's passing nowadays. Who makes federal laws? So this one is interesting because because doesn't technically the president like come up with them and then pass it through the system of congress it's got to be the supreme court because the president can't make laws <laughs> i'll play it safe I, th I think it's congress i think it's congress i think that's congress they're like 90 years old i think the average age is like 90 years old so i'm glad they're making laws for us what is the rule of law certain officials including the president have immunity from following the law that's got to be capped they hit trump with like 40 felonies that's got to be capped that probably is true to a degree but it's probably not in the constitution that would also be insane <laughs> no one including government is yep yeah, that's it right there that's what it is it's got to be i mean we don't do that but that sounds like it should be a thing what does the constitution do see i have a good philosophy if there's ever all of these answers all of the above are correct it's, it's always all of the above always that one it's always that one so i'm gonna go with d it's probably that one so probably gonna go with that one and that's a proven fact that's a tme fact what did susan b anthony do who the fuck? she invented that uh line of bread right susan b anthony so that says it on the package like susan susan b anthony's white bread played a key role in designing and sewing the first american flag was that her did she do that when was the first american flag song like 
1600s. It can't be that. Who, like, who really cares, right? I think that's her. I remember that from, like, third grade. That sounds like somebody who would be running for senator. Susan B. Anthony wants abortion up to 13 months. Advocated for women's suffrage and played a central role in women's rights movements. It's got to be deep. It sounds so familiar. Advocated for women's suffrage. Uh, it's probably that one. It's probably that one. Who does a U.S. senator represent? Jesus Christ, who picked these fucking questions? These are hard. Is there only one senator or is there like a hundred? I don't, what's, what, what, there's like a part of government that has like 400 fucking senators, right? Which one is it? All residents regardless of eligibility to vote. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Yeah, eh. Only the citizens who actively participate in the election and vote for the senator. I mean, that would make sense because they put them in office, so they're like representing what people believe. So I, I think that's it. It's gotta be, it's gotta be all residents, right? Even the people who are illegal? Hell yeah. We got a lot of those. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? What the f is this? Who picked these questions? A convention, I've been to a couple of those. Mainly the furry ones. Emancipation Proclamation? No way. No way Abe Lincoln did that. Virginia got its own rights? What? What the f*** is that? Who who the f*** cares about Virginia? Like Virginia is going to have rights before America? No. Get f***ing real. Constitutional convention. I mean, it would make sense that the constitution was written there, right? It's gotta be the constitution. I'm gonna go with that. It's gotta be the Declaration of Independence. I think it's the constitution. What does the judicial branch do? That, they, um, that's the judges and stuff. They, um... Oh, but this is a tricky one. Once again, number... So D is all of the above. It's all of the above. Every time you get one of those on a test, it's always that one. Ah! I'm American! I have a horrible feeling I'm not gonna be a citizen. I might get f***ing deported. The House of Representatives has has how many members? Oh, this is the sh I was talking about, I think, 441? It's not C or D, that's for sure. Cross out C and D, because I know it's in the 400s. There's a lot of them. Do I know who these people are? I don't know. Do we even vote people in for that? I don't even know. Mm, I think it's 435? That sounds right. I'm going to say 441. That one seems right. I want to say it's B, because I feel like 441. They want you to do that one, but that one's too high. Why do some states have more represent... Rep, rep, represent, rep, representative. Population. Population. That's B. I know that one. Population. Population. I don't even have to look at the answer. Speaking of that, we should stop giving rights to California, just in general. We gotta stop the whole population thing. They should get no rights. I, I'm pretty sure that'd be a unanimous decision. We should pass that bill. Anyways, um, what is an amendment? Something that, like, kind of gives you the rights, but also, like, can also be taken away, or some of them just don't really work. So it's kind of like a addition. Oh, right there, A. An addition to the Constitution. I think it's A, because A is short for awesome, and I am awesome. What was the really bad one that we added? 19th and 19th Amendment? We need to take that one away, so we should probably add a new amendment. Ban the 19th Amendment. That's a joke. What is the one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Fulfill tax obligations. I don't do that. Don't overdose on drugs. Uh, you gotta work a nine to five. I'm gonna say adhere to legal statutes because, I don't know, like, you gotta follow the f***ing law. It can't be A, because I don't pay taxes, and I definitely don't respect the rights of fellow individuals in society, so it can't be A or C. Buy as much consumer goods off of Amazon as you possibly can. No, because everybody has to follow the laws, otherwise you get put in jail or like publicly executed. Like in Wyoming, they do that shit. They'll just tie a f***ing potato sack of your head and shoot you in the back of the head. Dump as much money into big pharma organizations than you, that you can. Uh, when you go to the doctor, don't ask them how much it's going to be because it'll probably be fine. What else? What's the responsibility of an American? I mean, everyone has to participate in jury duty. I feel like it's gotta be that one. And if you pick me for jury duty, you're lucky, because I'm voting not guilty on whatever the charge is. You have to own at least five guns. Any of these on here? I think it's D. I think it's D. I'm gonna say tax obligations. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. That's easy. Is in Independence Day the same as 4th of July? I think it's 4th of July. I think I'm overthinking it. I'm, I'm overthinking it. It's fine. July 4th. Name one right belonging only to United States citizens. Freedom of speech, right? Well, that line's a little blurred recently. Do any of the countries have freedom of speech? Freedom? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a broad word. I mean. Nah, it's got to be freedom of speech. It's got to be that one. I think it's run for federal office because that seems like the most strict out of all of them. So I think you also have to be a United States citizen to go to public school because they need to ID you. The rest of them, I feel like you can have no matter what. We elect U.S. representatives for how many years? We elect the president for four, right? So like, how long do those motherfuckers stay in there? What the fuck is a U.S. representative? I'm going to say six because like everybody, you know, senators 10, president four, U.S. representative six. Oh. 
know, janitor, like 50, you know. Six is senators, I think. I put that on another question here. I hope that's right. U.S. representative. Is that eight? Is that eight years? It might be eight. I think it's eight. I'm gonna go with D. It's gotta be two. It's gotta be two. That makes sense to me. I'm definitely not passing this. I've already given hope on being a citizen. I'm definitely not passing this. What are the two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Who? No one needs to know this. It's definitely not right to own a home. <laughs> definitely not that. Life and the right to own a home. Well, cross out that one. No one in my generation is owning a home, so we can definitely cross out that one. Thank you. There's a lot of a lot of veterans without a house, so, and I'll probably be one of them. Not the veteran, just no house. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's all three. So it's gotta be C. Life and death. I don't think death is a right. I feel like it's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, even though that's three. I wanna say it's C, but that's three. So could be a trick question. I think it's B. I think it's B. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? So this one is easy. Freed enslaved people in Confederate controlled territories. I think that's right. Because it didn't really free them, but it freed them. You know, it's kind of like a, as Danny would say, they probably, probably should have never signed that. Well, <laughs> as a self proclaimed anti racist, I know exactly what the emanci emanci emancipation did. This one freed the enslaved people in Confederate controlled territories. I think it's B. I think it's B. How many US senators are there? <laughs> Two for every state. 50 is a very specific number. I feel like it would be some bullshit like 52. 100. Gotta be. Two times 50 is 100, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's gotta be C. I'm gonna say 52. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Alaska wasn't a state till 1953, Danny's birth year. Hawaii, same thing. Not Alaska, because they we bought that way later. It's gotta be Hawaii or Alaska. Hawaii... Mm, I can't see a French person in Hawaii. Hawaii, right? Because I think a war was fought for Alaska, so it's got to be Hawaii. Wait, I think I remember this from school. Wasn't there the Louisiana Territory? Was that French? You know, just because I remember that being a word, that's usually how I base stuff off. If, if I remember it being a word that I learned, I think it was that one. So I think it's Louisiana Territory. Got to be Louisiana. Louisiana Purchase. I think I got at least above 50%. Will help. These questions were way harder than I thought. Can't lie. That might have been the easiest test I've ever taken in my entire life. I'd say at least my prediction. I'd say I got 17 right. I might write us another question and answer it correctly, so I get 101 points, extra credit, you know. So let's see if I'm getting deported back to Mexico. All right. Let's see what our test results are. Let's All see, right, Lucas. You actually should be scared here. I think like an 84 is a B. Well, that's not the grading scale I went through. So well, we're right. you were also in special ed classes. Yes, yeah. That's, but, well, we said B, not B minus. So he, he has to get 83. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, 83. All 83. right. All right. Yeah, 83. That's bullshit. So, I got 22 right. <laughs> Oh, you barely I'm a U.S. citizen. I'm a U.S. citizen. Oh, Danny, you got four? You did, you did better than me. 21 divided by... Oh, Danny passed. Oh, I barely f***ing made it. Okay, all right, let's see. That means How Lucas did it Four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Okay, all right, so 25 minus eight is what? 17? Oh, 17 divided by 25. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! All right, Lucas is getting deported. Deport his ass. Yeah. Trump, Kamala, deport Get his him. ass back to Mexico. Yeah. Well, we found out that two out of the three of TME is a U.S. citizen. Let's, let's go. go. Well, you have anything to say for yourself? I just want to point out that Danny thought there were 52 no. states. Well, that's I also just want to say that. that. Wait, let's look up retarded. Oh, so, so you got like a C+. Plus. <laughs> in the special ed class, you got oh, C+. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, cool. no, this isn't special ed. This is Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so, so enjoy the election tonight. You got to watch our video first, though. Swear yeah. to God. And if you're yep. a man, I'll see you in Israel. See you yep. in Israel. Let's go.